Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube real estate channel for both home buyers and home sellers. My name is Kevin Boyle from Sutton Premier Realty. Let's talk about realtor horror stories. Unfortunately, I hear realtor horror stories all of the time. In fact, I have my own realtor horror story. And I swear every single one of my friends and most of my clients, they all have a realtor horror story as well. So here's my promise to you. I will guarantee you this. I will never be your realtor horror story. Instead, the story you'll be sharing with your friends will be something like this. Kevin was extremely knowledgeable and helpful. Kevin got us a really good deal. Kev Kevin negotiated hard for us. Kevin was always available whenever we had a question or a problem. Kevin always took responsibility. He never pointed fingers or blamed others. Those are just some of the things that you will hear from my clients. Today, I want to share with you an email I received from one of my readers. I want to share this email with you because, quite honestly, when I received this email, I couldn't believe it. Dear Kevin, I would have loved to have been able to have you help me with the sale of my parents' condo in Tawasson, but unfortunately, they went with someone that they already knew, a realtor who specialized in their area. Honestly, it was a horrible decision. My mother was in a care home. My father was at home alone with dementia, so we had to sell fast. Also, due to my parents' declining health, I found myself having to go out a few times a week to stay on top of the cleaning and to help my dad get out during showings. To make a very long story short, the sale took far too long, and we ended up having to go f to let the unit go for $80,000 less than what the realtor suggested as our listing price. I found this particular realtor to be arrogant and extremely unhelpful, even though he only lived a few minutes away. After having gone through what I did, I would be happy to recommend you to anyone thinking of buying or selling a home, as you seem to be one of the few realtors that I've heard of that actually has video testimonials and other references. Sincerely, Diana. I actually called Diana, and I can assure you that there is much more to this story. It makes me mad when I hear about people getting abused like this. There's no reason for realtors to treat their clients like that. So the question becomes, what can you do to protect yourself and how can you pick the right realtor? Well, it's not about how much someone charges you in commission. Commission has very little to do with how much money you're going to end up with in your pocket after your home sells. I can show you tons of examples on MLS of homes sitting on the market for 60, 90, 120 days and then the homeowners having to drop their price by $10,000, $20,000 or more to sell. So what's the point in saving $5,000 in commission if you have to reduce your price by $10,000 to sell? Because your realtor is not really that good of a negotiator. It's not about quoting you the highest selling price. In the industry, we call this buying your listing. This realtor is simply telling you what you want to hear and appealing to that little guy on your shoulder called greed. But the reality is that today's home buyers are just like you. They're highly sophisticated and very knowledgeable. You know when something's overpriced. The information is freely available to everyone with a computer these days and most people know what the comparables are. So again, why let someone butter you up and then 30 days later come back to you for a price re reduction? In the meantime, your home has dropped in priority in the showing schedule. It's not about whether they're a really nice person or that there's someone that you know from church or something, you know, another hobby that you have. Yes, it is important that you like your realtor. And yes, I know because you go to the same church that you feel obligated to use that person because you, you do see them every week. But I tell you, I have heard way too many realtor horror stories from people who hired someone because they felt obligated. Now what happens is they have a problem. The relationship sours and now you feel uncomfortable going to your own church. The best response is the most honest response. Friend who I care about deeply Every real estate transaction has problems, 
Buying or selling a home is a very complicated transaction where the probability is pretty high that something can and will go wrong. And I really like having you as a friend. I will not risk our friendship over the chance of something going wrong. So now you know about how not to have your own personal realtor horror story. You're probably thinking, Kevin, how do I ensure that I pick the right person to be my realtor? Well, two things. One, proven verifiable results. How long does it take them to sell their average listing? How close do they get to asking? And what's their listing to sold ratio in a month? And secondly, and what I think is more important is do they have a full page of references? You know, if someone is as good as they say they are at what they do, they should have tons of raving fans, customers who will willingly sing their praises. I have those kind of clients. They're willing to share their experiences with me as their realtor with you. So don't be that next person with the realtor horror stories. My best advice to you is check references. Well, thank you for your time. I hope you found this video tip useful. And until next time, take care.